misinformation spreading online about possible side effects of COVID-19 vaccines or the Dutch general election. But amid these online falsities, how many of them are being shared intentionally on purpose and how many are shared by accident? Well, a new study has been released by Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT, and their Media Lab. And they have found that overwhelmingly, the majority of misinformation online is spread unintentionally. People are not doing it on purpose. In terms of a breakdown, they found that around half of people, half of the 5,000 American people that they studied, had spread misinformation because they were not paying attention to what they were retweeting or forwarding on. Meanwhile, another third of people had shared misinformation because they were mistaken. They had believed that what they were spreading was true, when in fact it was accurate. And it was just 16% of people who had deliberately spread online disinformation, knowing that what they were spreading, what they were sharing, was false. Well, for more on this study here in the Cube, we spoke to one of the professors at MIT behind the study, David Rand. If you ask people to judge the accuracy of news, they are actually pretty good and rated the true headlines as much more accurate than the false headlines. But when you ask them what they would share, the truth of the headlines had almost no impact on their sharing, and it was all about whether it aligned with their politics or not. So there's this disconnect between what people believe and what they share. Um, and then we showed that that disconnect was largely driven by inattention. And so all of this suggests that inattention is an, is an important part of uh, the misinformation problem, probably exacerbated by the fact that social media directs your attention away from accuracy and towards things like how much engagement is my post going to get. So it's perhaps not that people don't care about spreading accurate information, but perhaps they're not taking enough care to make sure that what they are spreading is accurate. And this study by MIT has said that one thing that could alleviate this problem is labels. We might have seen them on Facebook or Twitter, labels that have been added to tell users when something is disputed or downright false, whereas other platforms like YouTube have been criticized for not putting in enough of these measures. Well, David Rand Angela at MIT, they have said that they believe labels like this could be a useful tool. They believe that platforms should continue to share them with users, even when they're not using them for work or for leisure time, to encourage them, to remind them that what they are sharing online needs to be correct to stop the spread of misinformation.